Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about the comparison between waterfall model and uh, spiral model. So already we have discussed about uh, waterfall model and spiral model. So if you haven't watched those videos, then please go to uh, description box of this video and uh, I have provided the link in the description box and you can watch those videos and then come back to this video so that you can understand the comparison between waterfall model and spiral model. So let's talk about, I'll take you to my PPT and uh, where we'll discuss like what are the different factors about, uh, we'll see the comparison between waterfall model and spiral model on different factors. So let's get started. So guys, let's do a comparison between waterfall model and spiral model and we'll see some differences as well. So I'll create three columns over here. One is uh, for properties like on what basis uh, we'll do the comparison so this is property on basis of what we'll see the differences and uh, we'll do the comparison this is waterfall model waterfall and this is spiral model spiral column spiral model column so let's see the first point definition so what is the definition of waterfall model it is linear sequential model linear sequential model or a base model or traditional model or traditional model and uh, what is spiral model this is risk driven risk driven driven model you can make a note of this guys uh, I could not uh, wait PPT on this like uh, with the notes that's why I'm writing some of the differences over here so you can make a note however don't worry i'll put it uh the complete notes in my blog later on so the second is flow of the process what is the flow of the process so waterfall what happens is after completing a phase and uh, reach to the new phase it is not possible to go back to the previous phase suppose this is phase one and this is phase two one and two so once we reach to phase two from requirement analysis, let's say this is requirement analysis and this is design. So once we reach to second phase, we cannot come back from the second phase to first phase. And here it operates on the basis of iteration. It operates on the basis of iterations as we have seen in uh, iterative model or spiral model we have seen like how it uh, iterates so we have different modules uh, different modules in uh, spiral model module and we'll follow the same process again and again so that is nothing but the iteration now the third point what is the third property customer involvement customer involvement so here in waterfall model it's very minimum because our steps and everything are fixed in waterfall model here customer involvement are more because the customer has an awareness of what the product is so customer involvement in spiral model is more what would be the fourth point fourth point is the usage so this is for small projects small projects and this is for large and complex large and complex projects or big size projects flexibility fifth point is flexibility flexibility so this is it is not flexible okay this is not it is not flexible 
not flexible and whereas in uh, i mean a spiral model is flexible because it works on the basis of iteration so we can change the requirement anytime or uh, it is more flexible uh, we have different phases in a spiral model uh, and iteration as well as i have discussed earlier so this is about uh, flexibility changes in the requirement changes in the requirement one of the property so here changes is not possible not possible here changes are possible possible here changes are possible seventh one is cost cost of the module like how much expensive waterfall model or spiral model so this is less expensive compared to spiral model and this is very expensive very expensive because here manpower requires a lot and uh, team strength yeah team strength are uh, needed like more uh, was required here and because we have a separate uh, things like uh, risk analysis so for that we need expertise to analyze the risk so this is the seventh point and uh, the last one is risk risk involvement in waterfall or spiral model that is eighth, eighth point risk the waterfall model is high risk high risk are involved in waterfall model here less risk less risk uh, less risk in spiral model why uh, why high risk in waterfall model because we have certain phases and there is a uh, it's in linear sequential phase and once a phase is done we cannot come back or change the requirements or come we cannot come back to the current uh, phase once it is done so risk involvement is high because uh, the requirement may if customer is change the requirement or anything happens in the future so it's very uh, risky model i would say uh, whereas spiral model because we used to take the feedback and reviews from the customer and it works on the basis of iterations we divide the requirements we prioritize into different modules so risk involvement risk is very less over here and we do the risk analysis uh, the model itself uh, called as risk driven model so these are the different uh, uh, properties we can differentiate waterfall model and spiral model uh, guys so i'll put this the notes clearly because this is not visible i guess uh, so i'll put in my blog that is automation testing insider.com don't worry about that uh, i'll put it in my blog uh, in coming days so thank you guys for watching this is all for today thanks a lot bye bye